You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I am back. Rodriance for our Black and White Sports 2. If you're new to the channel, punch the subscribe button, like, comment, share, check us out on Pod. All the audio from all of our videos, pretty much available wherever podcasts are available. Uh, so we got two subjects on the docket right now. And uh, the first one, of course, is going to be Lamar Jackson. Now, for full disclosure, my favorite NBA player of all time is Charles Barkley. Sir Charles, that's right. I can remember seeing Charles Barkley in San Antonio back in 1993, my senior trip. He was down there for the playoff series, Thunder Dan Marley. They were in Hooters. Yeah, down on the boardwalk. That's right, down on the river walk. And uh, they were down there for that uh, playoff series against the Spurs. Uh, big Thunder Dan Marley fan, too. By the way, Charles Barkley in person, at least back then, very damn cool. Now, Charles has said some wacky things over the years. A lot of it I don't agree with it. Some of it I, I do agree with. And he's trying to give Lamar Jackson some very valuable advice here, which is you're not beating NFL owners. And, and you're not, okay? You're not beating NFL owners. And he brings up a very valid point. We know what all of this is about. Again, Deshaun Watson's contract was an outlier. Now, the other thing we're going to get to is uh, Russell Wilson um, having a golf cart accident, question mark. Somewhere Sean Payton's like, really? I come to the Broncos and my star quarterback flips a golf cart over. Okay, great. I don't know. Sean Payton somewhere might have been like, uh, Jared Stenham, come on. Come on down. A little sooner than I thought you'd be in here. Uh, so we'll get to that. We're glad Russell Wilson's okay. I mean, I understand. Sometimes Russell Wilson is wildly easy to make fun of. Let's just be real. So we'll get to that too. A uh, little longer video, but that's fine. That's the point. This is Florio. Earlier today, side-by-side -side comparison of key factors. In the offer made to Lamar Jackson by the Ravens and the deal secured by Jalen Hurts with the Eagles revealed that perhaps Jackson rejected a better package than the one Hurts accepted. We've done two videos covering that in various forms and fashion. I think it's the last two videos on this channel, but I'm not sure exactly. It's, it's two of the last, say, four videos on this channel, so go check it out. Also, today, Charles Barkley appeared on the really big show on 850 ESPN Cleveland. Uh-oh, the a Deshaun Watson, pro-Deshaun Watson channel, I'm sure, down there on the radio. Barkley, who has opinions on just about everything, shared his views on the Jackson situation. Quote, Lamar, you're playing with fire, brother. Barkley said, you're going to get burnt. These dudes are all billionaires. They're not going to let you screw up their business model. God, this is that fact. You've got to take the best deal. It's not even about Lamar. I know what they're saying behind the scenes. They're like, yo, if you give this guy guaranteed money, I'm going to have to give Herbert guaranteed money. I'm going to have to give Burrow guaranteed money. We can't give all these guys guaranteed money. I mean, we've got a hard cap situation here. Barkley's not dumb. He's not. Barkley means fully guaranteed contracts because they'll get all the guaranteed money. Hertz got plenty, but his contract wasn't fully guaranteed. He'll probably never even ask for the contract to be fully guaranteed. If he did, he abandoned that position and said yes to the best offer the Eagles would make right now. It's all about saying yes eventually. At some point, Lamar has to say yes. As we said on Tuesday's PFT Live, I have not watched it yet. If Lamar were selling a car and he wanted 50 grand for it, but no one would offer more than 30, at some point, he'll have to take 30 or he's not selling the car at all. That's a fairly decent analogy I get, but I get the point there, um, Florio. So, yeah, I mean... Charles Barkley's absolutely right. We got to remember when Deshaun Watson signed that deal, the Ravens owner, Steve Bishotti, 
He was pissed. In fact, word has it, he was livid. Why? Because he knew Lamar was coming. He knew this contract was coming. And that's why when Jimmy Haslam showed up to the owners' meetings and, and, and to take part in all of the reindeer games of the NFL owners, they've essentially ostracized his ass because they were like, you potentially put the way we do business with players in jeopardy because you're so damn desperate to get a quarterback on your team. And on top of it, it was that guy, you know? So don't think that doesn't factor in it too. It's not like you were getting Peyton Manning or Tom Brady here. You were getting a guy with 25 civil lawsuits for getting too handsy during massages. It was a terrible idea and a terrible look. I still think in the long run, the Browns are going to pay a, a heavy, ugly price for that contract. Um, again, Watson didn't exactly look like he was burning the house down, did he, last year? Just saying. And we could go over the laundry list of issues that Lamar's got, but it's still going to come back to not having an agent. So uh, we won't go over that again, but you get the point. He's got to get him an agent. Um, he would have already had a deal. Again, he might have already lost $50 million bucks. I kid you not. I mean, look, as soon as Josh Allen signed, Lamar should have signed. It was that easy. All right, let's get to this. Russell Wilson's golf cart tumbles into a bunker. <laughs> In strange accident. Oh, we kid because we care. Right? Question mark? Maybe? Eh. Yikes. It's not great off the football field for Russell Wilson. Either the Broncos quarterback was playing at Arrowhead Golf Course in Littleton, Colorado on Saturday when his golf cart flipped over into a bunker, according to 104.3 The Fan's Matt Smith, who reported that no one was hurt during the accident. Per Smith, Wilson's playing partner, Broncos All-Pro Safety Justin Simmons, who at least somebody on the team likes Russell, was driving the golf cart at the time. Wilson addressed the situation on Twitter Tuesday, writing, quote, The real question is, did we get from the bunker to the green? Hashtag par. Hashtag good times. I mean, that's that's great, Lamar. Uh, or uh, Russell Wilson. Uh, look, here, here we are. I guess this is the golf cart in question. Right here. Yeah. So, the Super Bowl winner included a bunch of crying and laughing emojis and a gif in his post. Do we have that post here? Uh, what is this? The real question? Okay, here we go. Oh, God. Here I am thinking he was actually going to uh, include said incident in his in his little uh, Twitter. He, he did not. Okay, great. Uh, there it is. A little clear view right there of said golf cart and bunker. Good God, Russell. Really? Simmons was apparently driving too close to a bunker when the golf cart locked, and when they reversed the cart, it hit the edge of the bunker, and the cart flipped. Eric Budd, who was playing behind the group, told Barstool's foreplay podcast, they were reversing because the cart locked up and were too close to the edge and tumbled in. Bud told the outlet. Their teammates ran over it, uh, ran over to it to pick it up and push it out of the bunker. Yikes, Russell Wilson. Okay, Broncos linebacker Josie Jewell was among those playing with Wilson. Again, another teammate that seems to like him. Bud told Denver's 104.3 The Fan, adding that another unidentified player was also in the group. <laughs> he doesn't want anybody knowing he was playing with Wilson. The incident reportedly took place on the front nine while Wilson and Simmons were looking for one of their golf balls to the left of the fairway. Quote, if I had to guess, I'd say it was Russ's ball, the eyewitness says. It seems like they were looking for his ball all freaking day. All right, maybe he is a better quarterback than golfer. After the incident, Wilson and Simmons reportedly got up laughing while other teammates playing parallel adjacent hole came over to make sure everybody was all right. The man behind the group asked Wilson and Simmons if everybody was all right. To which the safety laughed, yeah, we're good. 
not my best moment. Denver is going to need a healthy roster after a 5-12 and 12 season. So, you have to wonder, um, and look, I understand that's kind of a, a freak accident kind of deal, right? I mean, look, they're out playing golf. You don't exactly expect to get a call if you're Sean Payton going, look, your quarterback, yeah, they just rolled over in their golf cart down the bunker. And he's like, God, I just took this job. Really? Question mark. God almighty. That's absolutely crazy. I mean, it makes sense. You know, uh, Russell Wilson golf cart just tumbles over. It's quite possibly one of the more Russell Wilson things to ever happen. If it's not one thing, it's something else. What's going on with this guy? It's nuts. The last couple of years in general, not a great look, Russell. Just not. Tell me what you think. Black and White Sports 2 supporters, Chuck is right about Lamar. You're, you're going up against billionaires. You're going to lose that battle. They've got a business model. There's a way the league is run. You're not bigger than the shield, Lamar. You're not. Uh, buckle up for safety, Russell. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.